In this lesson, I'll show you how to identify a conic without completing the square. In other words, if you're given an equation that's an expanded form, such as the one that you see, you can find out whether it's a circle, parabola, an ellipse, or a hyperbola by recognizing the following patterns. And those patterns are shown here. We'll refer back to them as we do each question. The question reads, identify the graph of each of the following non-degenerate conic sections. Let's start with A. Here we have an A value of 1, a C value of 1. Remember, C represents the leading coefficient of y to the power of 2. We have a D value of negative 6, and E being 1, and our constant, which we'll represent as f, is equal to 3. Now we're told that if a is equal to c, it's a circle, and that's the case for question a. So without completing the square, I know that this will give us a circle. Next, we have y squared minus 12x minus 4y plus 52. Let's go ahead and outline these. y squared is c, and that's 1. This negative 12 is d. Negative 4 is y, and that corresponds to e. And f, being our constant, is 52. Notice that we don't have an a, so we can set a is equal to 0. And if a times c is greater than 0, then it's an ellipse. Given that a times c is 0, that's not the case. So it can't be an ellipse. Let's see if it's a problem a times c is equal to 0, and that's the case. So this is a parabola. And lastly, you might find this equation familiar because we did a video on this where we graphed this expanded form equation. Let's find out what it is. Our a value is 4. Negative 24 is our d. y squared corresponds to c. And I'll stop at that. So c is negative 9. Because the patterns we're looking for are only involving a and c. The rest don't matter in this case. Anyway, we have a and c. If we multiply them together, 4 times negative 9, we will end up with negative 36. And if a times c is less than 0, we have a hyperbola. And that's exactly what we had graphed in one of our previous videos. So there you have it. That is how to identify a conic section without completing the square.